The place can be identified by the following features. It is a greyish to brown colour on the top side, so uh, looking down on the eye side, and the underneath is white. The top side will be covered with a pattern of orange or red spots. If you rub your finger up and down the skin of a place, you'll feel it smooth to touch and it's got very, very small scales. There is a ridge that consists of four to seven bony knobs that runs along its head, down from between its eyes, down towards the pectoral fin just behind the gill cover. Shore caught plaice typically range from one to three pounds in weight, however they can grow up to 26 inches and weigh in excess of 10 pounds plus. There is even a fiberglass model, or a replica of a trawler landed place that was caught in rye and it hangs on the wall in the Hastings Fisher M Museum and that weighed 20 pounds 10 ounces and that was caught in June 94 by Hastings fisherman Dave Peters and again that's not rod and line caught, that was trawled. The shore caught record stands at eight pounds six ounces, and that was caught by R. Moore at Southbourne Beach, Bournemouth. And the boat record of ten pounds three ounces was caught in 1974 in Scotland by then 16-year-old H. Gardner. Plates can be found in areas made up of sandy or muddy seabeds. They will often bury themselves in the sand for protection and ready to ambush passing prey. As you can see in this video, place produce a clicking sound with their pectoral fin when feeling threatened by anything around them. They can usually be found in depths of 8 to 160 metres, but will from time to time venture into even shallower waters depending on need and conditions. Generally, the larger the place, the deeper the water it prefers, hence, generally, you will catch larger place out on a boat. Younger place between 1 to 2 years of age, diet consists mainly of shrimp. After two years they will feed on shellfish, so anything from cockles, mussels, razor shells, lugworm, ragworm, crustaceans and even sand eels. A great bait for place is lugworm tipped with small strips of squid, or better still, ragworm tipped with squid due to the movement the ragworm creates and place, you know, that such an inquisitive fish will will investigate any movement going on. Place spawning grounds around the UK are located in the Eastern English Channel. At around three to seven years old, place head to deeper waters to start spawning between the months of September through to March. They release eggs every three to five days and by the time they finish spawning each female can lay up to 500,000 eggs, most of which will be eaten either as eggs or small fry by predators. The eggs will drift for around eight to ten weeks when they will start to metamorphose. They then drift in tides toward shallow or sandy beaches. When they reach a suitable location they will start to take the form of a place as we know it. This takes around ten days. They then spend the first year of their lives in shallow waters and on an ebb tide they will remain in rock pools. After a year they will migrate to deeper waters returning in much smaller numbers at one to two years. After spawning the place return to shallow waters and being undernourished will feed on any time of day on pretty much any natural seafood, a particular favourite being pea mussels. 
As summer goes on, they will become more nocturnal and more selective, hence why early season place are easier to catch. There are three rigs I like to use to target place. These are 1. A free hook clicked down rig. Number 2. An up and over wishbone rig. And number 3. A clipped down wishbone rig. The free hook clip down rig is essentially a free hook flapper but being clipped down will allow you to get extra distance as it releases on impact with the water. The clip down wishbone rig will allow you to present two baits side by side. The up and over rig will allow you to present two baits side by side but with the baits dropping down below the weight on release will allow for extra movement on the hook snoods on the seabed and that can sometimes boost your chances. Whatever rig you choose always add beads and sequins. A favourite pattern used by most is green and black or yellow and black as it is said to represent the colour of pea mussels which they love to feed on. Ok for weights uh, you want to use plain bomber style fishing weights. This will allow the baits to roll around on the seabed and that will create extra movement and it will also allow you to tweak the reel every now and again which will also create the extra movement we're looking for and hopefully that will help attract any place. Remember to keep your baits small. Um, you've got to allow for the places relatively small mouths. Place will take most sea baits. However, the most popular baits seem to be worm baits, either lug or ragworm, tipped with small strips of squid or mackerel, and that will flutter in the tide, creating added attraction for the target fish. A size 4 long shank hook is ideal for the place's small mouse, so it's a very thin, strong, long shanked hook. And that will help with the often quite tricky um, unhooking of a place, so if you're planning on releasing it, you want to do it as safely as possible. So the long shank um, size 4 hooks are ideal for that. To start off with, Try different baits, so if you're going to use a free hook flapper, try a different bait on each hook and that way you'll see what they're feeding on and then you'll be able to switch to solely that bait. As with all sea fish, there is a minimum size for keeping place for the table. This currently stands at 28 centimetres, which according to the governing body should allow the time for the place to spawn at least once. Though I feel this is a little on the small side, I look to keep the occasional fish over 32 centimetres. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. I really hope you found this useful. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe for more upcoming species guides. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to the following for contributing content to this video. So that's JD Scuba, Sea Glow, Sussex Underwater, Carper Blue Fishing, The Fish Hunter and Saltwater angler um, you'll find links to all of their channels in the description okay thanks a lot guys see you on the next video